guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about my favorites of 2018. I'm mostly going to focus on makeup. I didn't want to like get too far crazy into it because I did my skincare favorites slash routine um, about a month ago. So I didn't want to like veer off too much because I feel like I never really get to speak about my absolute favorite makeup products. I feel like I've never really done that before. I don't think I've ever done a favorites. Have I never done a favorites? Maybe I did one? I don't know. But I really wanted to go in depth about my makeup favorites um, for the most part. But I will mention like one or two skincare things because that are like new in my life. Because I feel like if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know what my favorite favorites are, if that makes sense. Like you guys know that like what my staples are for skincare especially. So I just wanted to, you know, really tap into makeup more, if that makes sense. So I wanted to mention the first favorite of 2018. I wanted to mention this moisturizer that I've actually been obsessed with. It's the CEO Sunday Riley moisturizer. Um, I've mentioned this in my skincare favorites, but I just wanted to mention it again because it was a big favorite of 2018. I think I received it in like a BoxyCharm box, something like that, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was like an amazing moisturizer. I used it in a lot of different seasons and it just was really really great to my skin. Gave it really great hydration. It really was a part of my everyday routine. My mom even took a whole bunch of it which is why it's like almost empty because she loved to use it as well. So for brows I have to say Benefits brow products have been amazing. I absolutely love all of their brow products, their Cabrow, their Precisely My Brow Pencil, and the 24 Brow Setter, I've been obsessed with, and it was a major, major grab for me for 2018. Their brow products are just so great, and they last really, really long. I feel like they really made a name for themselves with brows this past year. I really, really love these three products. I mean, their pencil, you really don't need to have a heavy hand with. This is an amazing consistency and it lasts a long, long time. I feel like I've had this for a while and it really hasn't dried out or anything on me. And the brow setter is amazing and it just really, really separates. My brow is really nice. I use it today in today's tutorial. I will be posting that as well. So if, you're, if you really like this look, don't worry. I'll be, I filmed it. I filmed it. Yeah, I really, really love these Benefit brow products. Another brow product that I grabbed a lot that I actually don't have anymore because I threw it out. I guess I didn't think to like save my empties, um, which is a really good thing to do, G. What the hell? But I really loved the Hourglass Brow Shaping Pencil. I used Dark Brunette. Yeah, that was like a super amazing pencil. Everything I mentioned will be linked down below, just so you guys know. And yeah, so benefit mostly with the brows and then the hourglass brow pencil as well. Moving on to eyes. This primer right here, the P. Louise Base Primer, is an amazing, amazing favorite. This helped me so much in 2018 with looks coming to be more vibrant and more smooth application. This helped with the blending process. Really, really, like, it amped it up. And this just was a really, really great favorite. If you haven't tried the P. Louise base, I really recommend it. Did have a little trouble with it because my eyes are super dry, especially right now. So you kind of just have to be really, really light with it if you have drier eyes and try not to pack on too, too much product or use a fluffy brush, I would suggest to kind of, or your fingers, either a fluffy brush or, or your fingers to kind of put this on amazing product of 2018 and I will be purchasing more. So a huge favorite of mine of 2018 for palettes or eyes, I'm just cleaning it because I am so messy with this one. It is the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette Extended. I always loved the bronze palette. That was like one of my favorites. When I heard they were coming out with the extended, I had to get it. I actually purchased all the extended, the burgundy and the peach, and I've been loving those as well. This one, I absolutely love these colors. These colors are absolutely gorgeous and they're just good for every day and you can turn into a smoky eye. It's really, really easy to, I'm cleaning this as I go. It's really, really easy to get day to night looks with this palette. It's just so, so easy. I absolutely love this palette. It was a huge, huge favorite in 2018. I used it a ton in the summer, a ton, a ton, a ton. As soon as I got it, I just like would grab it all the time. So that was, an amazing, amazing buy, and I'm very happy with this buy. Another palette I really loved in 2018 was the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions. 
I loved every Huda Beauty palette that came out this year. I loved the nude palette, the new nude palette. I didn't grab it as much as I grabbed this one and the Rose Gold palette remastered. I grabbed these two a lot this year. So these palettes are just amazing. Again, you have so much variety in this palette, but this palette is just so gorgeous. And I love that they reformulated it and kind of like made it better than the first one. I just appreciate that she went back to this palette because this palette was amazing. I mean, the first one I have, I still use it all the time. I like that she wanted to remaster it and make it even better. So I really, really appreciate that. Because I really, really also love the black in here. It's really, really great. Also, of course, these neutrals, um, Sandalwood and Henna, I really liked a lot. So I always grabbed this one for the eyes. As well as the Huda Beauty Topaz, I grabbed a lot. I just love these really peachy orange shades. And this yellow is sick. I love this yellow. It's such a pretty color. It is it's sick. I'm acting like it died. <laughs> it is sick. I love it so much. And again, like the rust and the golds. Like I'm such a neutral girl and I just love neutrals that pop. I really, really love. So this was another favorite. So another favorite of mine... I f did I do, I don't know if I did a tutorial on this. Maybe I did, I don't remember. But the 39A Morphe palette, Dare to Create palette was an amazing palette of 2018. You know, it, you literally have every color in the rainbow on this. Definitely an easy go-to because it just has every color and you don't have to worry about like missing a color or anything like that. I just feel like you can do an endless amount of looks with this palette. It's just so stunning and Morphe's Formula is absolutely amazing. If you haven't tried any Morphe palettes, I suggest you do. I mean, they were, they were amazing years ago, and as the years go on, they're just getting better and better, and this palette was just such a crazy staple for me in 2018. I feel like I always grabbed it because it had every single color I needed, especially these neutrals. I loved these neutrals. Just to, like put that on by itself made my eye look perfect and ready to go. So I have one more palette that was a huge favorite of mine in 2018. Um, again, like all of the palettes basically that I used were neutrals, so don't be like, why is she always using neutrals? But just because I do, just because I do. So another huge favorite of mine, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. It is was one of my staples in 2018. I did a couple of looks with this on YouTube for you guys and you guys loved it and you guys kept asking if you still are asking for more because this is such a great palette for every day, for nighttime. I mean, these colors are beautiful. I absolutely love, love this like row, whole roll of colors. My favorite neutrals from her, which is orange soda, burnt orange, and sienna, like such beautiful, beautiful colors. And you know, that bronze and sultry color, I mean, those were gorgeous. I never got to try the Sultra palette. I've been dying to try that. So I actually have to maybe possibly grab that because I saw that palette. It's gorgeous. And yeah, it's just like I've tried to not buy too many palettes or too many things that, you know, that I feel like I already have or, but I'm just like, I love Anastasia's palettes, especially Soft Glam and Modern Renaissance. Modern Renaissance was a huge favorite for me in 2017. So now moving on to liner. There are two liners that I absolutely was obsessed with this year. So you guys know my ultimate favorite liner is the Kat Von D Trooper liner. I'm going to put a little picture somewhere so you guys know exactly. I mean, and you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I love that liner to death. So that one's just always great. I use it on my clients. It's just an amazing product. I've loved it for years. I've used it for years on myself, on clients, and it just stays put. It's easy to use. And it's just honestly a great, great liner. I really haven't found another liner that's like it in that form, pen form. So I just really, really love that one and will never give it up. Another liner that I love this year, especially towards the end of the year, I've been using like crazy, which I need to get another one, the Balm Schwing Liner. This is an amazing, amazing liner. I love the matte finish it has. This applicator is just so awesome. And I've just been using this nonstop and it makes the wing look so pretty and so matte and I'm very opaque, which I like, but I do work a lot faster with the Kat Von D one with where, bleh, where this one takes me a little bit longer. So those are my liner favorites. Favorites for mascara this year, really centered around the NARS Climax Mascara. This was a really new, a new favorite of mine. I really just loved this mascara and I love that NARS finally came out with an amazing mascara. I feel like NARS was always known about 
their concealer, their foundations, their eyeshadows, their lips especially, but never their mascara. And I feel like mascara is such an important key in your makeup look. So I feel like finally they got an amazing formula and it's just so awesome. I actually am about to throw this away though because I've used it up to its literal end and um, it's sad but I'll get another one definitely because this was just an amazing lengthening separating mascara and I just love it so much. Another mascara that I have loved very very much is the Tarte Cosmetics Tardis Mascara. You guys know I've loved that mascara forever. I have another one in my draw that I'm opening. I'm actually trying a new mascara though. I'm trying right now Lancome Grandiose Extreme Mascara. I wanted to try something different. Um, you know, I always go back to the same one. So if I don't like that one, I'll obviously go back to Tarte Tardis or I'll get another NARS or Better Than Sex. Too Faced, love that one too. So those are my favorites. I love Tarte's Tardis Mascara. I love Too Faced, Better Than Sex and NARS Climax. Those are my three main mascaras that I used a ton this year. With Better Than Sex, the amazing volume that you get. With Tarte Tardis, the amazing lift and length that you get with it. And then with the Climax, the amazing length and separating. I just love that. So those are my three favorite mascaras. For lashes, I have to mention my brand because I'd be a bad mommy if I didn't. I love my Gigi Bell lashes. I have been so, so proud to be you know, able to make something and call it mine that's just not a child, but it is like my child. You know, you know, I'm not, I'm not a mom, but like, I don't know what I'm saying. I was just, I'm just so proud to have made something and to be so proud of it is amazing. And it's done really, really well in its first year. So it's been a year and a half that it's been, you know, around and it's just really, really awesome. And it's awesome to actually have a product that you're proud of, that you made, and I just threw a chip in my mouth because I didn't eat anything because I'm crazy. But yeah, I'm just really, really proud of my lashes, and if you guys haven't checked them out yet, please do because it just means so much to me. You don't have to buy, just look at the website just to see. Yeah, it's just an amazing feeling to create something and, you know, be proud of it, I guess. Besides like, you know, my makeup channel, my makeup Instagram, all that kind of stuff, I just feel like creating something like this, uh, just, and to call it your own and your own brand and you did it, it's just an amazing feeling and I suggest if you ever want to do that to work your hardest to get there because, you know, it took a lot of work but it was so worth it to be able to see this and see this on something. It's just kind of crazy to see your face on something, so... My favorite lashes from my line were my Gianna lashes and also my Lexi lashes. So these were my favorite of this year, absolutely. I feel like I always grab these. So these are the Giannas, if you've never seen them before. They're just an easy everyday lash. I absolutely just love these. And I used these a ton on my brides this year. Um, and, you know, they just like really loved it. So. It just gives you a really nice fluffy natural look and it's like what everyone wants in an eyelash. Obviously also I was so happy to actually have something with my name on it because growing up I literally had nothing with my name on it. No mug, no keychain, no nothing. Like there was nothing with my name on it so I was like a depressed five year old because they never had anything with my name on it. I used to hate it and I used to be like why was my name Gianna? I want to be named Nicole. I don't know why Nicole but like I really like that name. I think it's because it was really popular when I was little. But um, nobody knew a name Gianna, nobody ever heard of it, they always pronounced it wrong, and then just to grow up and make something that has my name on it just like really, really excited me and made my five-year-old self really, really happy. So moving on to Lexi. Lexi is just an amazing, fun, fluffy lash. I really love these because they just give so much to the eye. They just really, really exaggerate them and really enhance them. This is why I can't do talking videos because I have people in my house all the time. So it's really hard to do talking videos. I'm thinking about actually possibly doing something. Stop yelling! Yeah, Lexi just really enhances the eyes and just makes it 
really really awesome and really dramatic which i love it made just every look seriously pop this year and i feel like i just grabbed these two a ton so those are my two favorite lashes for my line damn i have i feel like i have so many favorites for foundations so let's just get into it actually primers let's go into primers first before finish i really grabbed these three a ton out of all of the other ones that i use my first one's gonna go to Huda Beauty. This is an amazing primer, super, super hydrating, and I'm just cleaning it because it's dirty, because I'm a mess. I really, really love how hydrating and how smoothing it is. I always, always grab this one, especially when I felt like my skin needed some moisture. I just really loved using this, and I just feel like this is like a bomb ass primer especially if your skin is needing moisturization especially after you even if you put creams on I just feel like with primer especially now during the winter months I always needed a little oomph in primer with hydration and this was amazing another favorite that I had which was a very surprising favorite was the covergirl true blend base business which I didn't even know that it was called that I just always said more minimizing but the base business was the business literally this stuff was amazing to my skin so gentle the smell is amazing too i can't even describe it it just smells really fresh um i'm just cleaning all my products because it's dirty but this was just amazing amazing primer and i always still grab this it's very pore minimizing it's great it's a great dupe of like the smashbox pore minimizing primer that's what it kind of reminds me of but the smell is amazing and then i love just the consistency it's not too drying it's just a really really great drugstore product that i always continue to grab and i just love that it's a comfort girl product because i have been dying to have a drugstore favorite besides mascara so i love this love 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 this primer my last favorite primer is the photo finish primerizer by smashbox amazing because it gave my skin hydration before putting on foundation and it has hyaluronic acid in it which i love too so it makes the skin nice and supple and it's just a really really great idea especially for people who have dry skin like me and i just really really loved it and it's smoothing and it's not anything sticky or too heavy it's just a great great invention smashbox very very smart i really really like that you guys made this guy he's like my little best buddy um i honestly grab him like all the time it's like a tie between him and huda beauty like it's like neck and neck i always like grab either one of these now going into foundations finally holy moly this was like a year of foundation for me i feel like i tried a million different ones and yeah let's just get into my favorites so my number one foundation i can never i just want to mix her up my number one foundation this year was the nars natural radiant Longwear foundation this guy was just an amazing product of 2018 i loved how full coverage how natural she looked on my face this product just looked so natural but so flawless on my face it was kind of ridiculous i remember putting it on for the first time being like whoa we're changing the game here and i was so disappointed when i first tried a nars foundation it broke out on me i forgot which one it was um, so I was like afraid to try any other NARS products, but I got this baby and I tried it out and I fell in love and I was so excited to not break out from it. I don't know what, maybe there's, there's gotta be something else in the, I think it's the all day that broke me out, but it could have been old. Who knows? I tried to test her on the store, so who really knows? But I absolutely love, love this foundation. It's amazing on all skin types too, because I've used it on oily skin types as well. And it works really well. I know my sister uses it and she has oily skin. It's really awesome. I feel like I might... It's hard because for my clients, my favorite foundation to use is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I'll put it right here. That's my absolute ultimate favorite foundation to use on clients. And I was thinking when I found this guy that I would switch to that or at least have it as another um, choice or option. So it's, it's difficult though because I'm so... With my clients, I try to be very, if it's not broke, don't fix it, because I absolutely love the Makeup Forever Ultra HD on my clients, especially my brides, because it just looks so beautiful and so flawless on camera. So, um, but this as well, it looks really amazing as well. So I was always thinking, should I try this for my brides? But, you know, we'll see. I might do a little test and then see, you know, how I feel. But um, this was just an amazing foundation of 2018. So another foundation favorite is Fenty Beauty. 
another amazing full coverage or medium to full coverage not heavy very very flawless foundation I grabbed this one a ton I'm in shade 280 what an amazing foundation what an amazing foundation I feel like I'm holding an award this was just an amazing foundation Rihanna changed the foundation game I feel like this past year 2017 going into 2018 I just feel like Rihanna changed the foundation game and just this was just an awesome go to easy I'm going out I need my skin to look flawless foundation so I just really really love this guy as well now going from full coverage to like medium to lighter coverage I loved okay don't yell at me okay I did spend a lot of money on this but it was an amazing buy this is the Tom Ford traceless foundation with SPF 15 this was an amazing foundation I'm in shade tawny which is 7.0 I absolutely love this foundation for the more spring summer months I just put this on threw it on and I honestly could just wear mascara and it looked so nice and flawless and every time I did wear this foundation wherever I went I feel like my skin was always complimented everyone was like what foundation are you wearing is that your skin like what the hell what's going on girl your glow is insane and this just gives you such a beautiful glow and it's so natural and you have some coverage and it gives you just a nice warmth to your skin and I just really really love this foundation for a lighter wear um, another foundation that I really loved this year was the Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. You guys know that this was a huge favorite of mine this past year. Oh my god, I'm getting it everywhere. It's kind of spilling out. But I've also had this foundation for a little bit too long. Yeah, definitely had it over a year. So I should probably get rid of it soon and get another one. But I absolutely love this guy. It always gave my skin such a nice, beautiful glow especially in the summer um, I'm shade tan um, probably not shade tan right now but in the summer spring summer I'm mostly shade tan this is just an amazing amazing go-to in the summer where I feel like my skin is really dried out from the Sun especially because I do lay out I know it's bad for you but I just do it anyway it's just how I've been forever so I feel like this foundation just made my skin look good without it looking too dry or anything like that. It just gave my skin a really, really nice, easy coverage, medium, like light to medium coverage, nothing too crazy, but it's buildable. I always, I always felt like this foundation was very buildable. I think that's really all I got to say about this guy. But you yeah, know, this was just a huge grab for me. I always like always grab this, especially in the summer when my skin was just like, I need hydration. So and I need to, my skin to look normal because I feel like whenever I'm, I'm tanner, sometimes my skin is thrown off or my, like something is thrown off on me when I'm extra, extra tan. I feel like I can't wear a lot of makeup, but I feel like if I do need some coverage, I always go for the Becca Luminous, Aqua Luminous Foundation. Becca Aqua Luminous Foundation. It's a lot, but it's amazing. Last but not least is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. This foundation, you guys has given me the best skin that I've ever seen, like, ever. For being a such a lightweight foundation, this is this has given me, like, the best, oh my god, the best coverage. It's just, like, not even, it gives you great coverage without it being heavy, and that's what I really, really love about this foundation, is because I use this day or night, I feel like my, my face looks so good it lasts so nice it gives your skin the i gives it this gives my skin the best glow ever like and i'm in shade warm beige um probably a little dark for me right now but that is like mostly my shade anyways yeah this is just an amazing foundation if you have not tried this foundation out i really suggest it it's literally like eight bucks eight bucks I think it's eight bucks pretty sure i will double check i got the um, matte one in the mail but i'm so I'm scared. I'm like scared of matte foundations just because I'm so used to my skin looking somewhat dewy. So I don't know, but maybe it's a try for 2019. Where are we? Maybe it's a new try for 2019. We will see. But I love this one so much. I'm a little baby. Now moving on to concealers. Yay! So hands down, number one favorite concealer this year was the Tarte Shape Tape. This was the one that I continuously, continuously went back to no matter what. If I was disappointed by a concealer, I honestly just went back to this one and just was so obsessed. 
Honestly, if you have not tried the Shape Tape by now, are you living under a rock? Seriously, what an amazing, amazing concealer. And like, Tarte is like thriving from this concealer right now. Like, from this concealer, I feel like Tarte has always been out there, but I feel like when they created Shape Tape, everyone was talking about Tarte. And I was like, yes, finally, you guys are out there. And, and it's just like a brand that I loved for so long you know, created just this amazing product. And it's just like so cool to see that. Another concealer that I've actually fell in love with too is the Huda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. It is kind of, it's like, um, it's almost like six months old. It's probably about six months old. It's an amazing concealer. I also fell in love with this too. Really great coverage, like really amazingly creamy and props to Huda Beauty. I really had a lot of favorites of hers this year, which is really, really cool. You know, I like to have, you know, a brand that I overall love. And Huda Beauty is definitely one, a brand that I overall really love. Amazing concealer. Very creamy, very blendable. It does not dry too fast. It's super, super movable and awesome. Movable when you need it to be. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm going to go into setting powders. I have two setting powders that I'm absolutely obsessed with that I feel like was just my two setting powders of the year, pretty much. I'll say for clients... I love the Kat Von D translucent powder. I stopped using this myself just because I fell in love with two other powders that I just can't put down. So, but for my clients, I use Kat Von D. It never disappoints me. It's never too heavy. It's never too light. It's never light in color or anything like that. No gray cast. It's an amazing, amazing product. If you guys do want me to do, I know I have been requested, but let's double check. If you guys do want me to do a super, like, clients and bride only video where I really explain what I use in my kit and what I love and all that etc. Please like this video right now and I will know that you guys really want to see it. So just like this video right now if you guys want to see that a specific professional makeup artist kit talk about favorites deal. That made sense. Anyway so Kat Von D I really love the translucent setting powder from her for my clients and I always love this powder. Um, I know I used it a lot in the beginning of the year but then I just found these other two powders that just like beat it beat it down for me. You know what I'm saying? First powder, another Huda Beauty product. Huda Beauty Easy Bake Banana Bread Powder. This was just an amazing baking powder, but it was amazing in the coverage that it gave, the brightening that it gave, that it gives. Oh my god, I'm acting like every product is like dying. I don't know what's going on. For a setting powder, this is just so amazing. It's so not cakey, but it can be high coverage if you want it to be without being cakey, which I really, really like. It's extremely brightening and just gives you such a flawless look and I love the way it contours. I don't have it on right now, but I'm acting like I do. But I love the way it contours my nose, especially because it keeps that brightness that I feel like a lot of setting powders kind of lose. They like make you look bright and then when you wipe it away, that brightness kind of dis dissipates. And I feel like this powder really, really keeps that brightness and coverage that I'm looking for. And it lasts a long time. I really feel like I really dug into this powder and it's still like pretty full. Let's just talk about Patrick's powder by MAC with Patrick Starr. Absolutely an amazing powder and what I wanted so bad when I worked for MAC was a powder, a setting powder and I was like obsessed with, which I still love, I still love the Laura Mercier powder but these are just like favorites of this year. Yeah so I wanted something just like the Laura Mercier powder so they really didn't have anything that was remotely like that and I was so disappointed working there and not having that, like, I needed that. So for contour, my favorites are both from KKW Beauty. It is the Contour Stick in One. Yeah, that's what one. The Contour Stick in One and then the Medium Contour Palettes, which I really did dig into, if you kind of, can kind of see. I really did dig into it. No, it doesn't look like it, but I really did. These are two of my huge, huge favorites of 2018. I feel like I constantly grabbed this palette for contour, and then I constantly also grabbed this contour stick. This contour stick was just in a really amazing, blendable, easy go-to in 2018, I feel like. And then for powder, I just really thought, sorry, I just dropped it on the floor. And then for powder, I just really, really always grabbed this one as well. What I really loved about this was that it was bronzy and not totally gray, so I really, really like that, but it didn't look too orange on my skin. For bronzer, I only have one favorite. It is my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is in Deep Tan Matte Bronze. What an amazing, amazing product. If you have not tried this, 
please try it. I know that this is kind of old. I've had this for at least a year. I got this before they changed the packaging, so it looks a little different now, but this is just an amazing, amazing bronzer. I use it, used it forever, I feel like. I really just love this bronzer. I've used this, honestly, since I was young, 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 like in middle school i wanted to say i was like using this and like snow bunny that they had at the time which i don't even know if they have that still they might i don't know but this was like always a go-to and this color is so pretty so bronzy so perfect and i just really really love it and it'll always be a huge favorite of mine so for blushes i have four favorites <laughs> my first three favorites are all from tarte yes they are in the shades Peaceful, Tipsy, and Dollface. I used these a ton in the past year. Peaceful was a huge go-to for me. I feel like I honestly always, always grab this. It kind of is just like the most perfect peachy pink, if that makes sense. Um, it's got a little shimmer in there, so it gives you like a really, really pretty glow. And it was just a huge, huge grab for me in 2018. I also, for summer, I really loved Tipsy, which was the most perfect, like, apricot orangey color. And I used this a ton in the summer. It just made my tan just look really, really great. I feel like orangey apricot blushes on olive tan skin just looks so beautiful. If you have not tried it, I really, really suggest it. I'm not sure if Tipsy is a thing anymore. It might not be. I feel like I couldn't really find it when I did YouTube descriptions, but who knows? Maybe it is there. I'm not sure. I feel like I remember not being able to find it, but well, no, but no. And then I recently started loving Doll Face, which is this blue toned, really beautiful pinky. It looks more purple on camera. It's not that purple. I guess it is. It does have a little purple tinge. This just like makes your skin look really, just makes your cheeks look really, really cute and playful. And I just really, really love this color. I started using this like towards the end of the year and I absolutely love it. So Tarte's blushes were always like a huge favorite of mine for a really long time. So, I mean, those were the main colors that I used. I also used like Exposed, I used Risqué, I used their Fairy Blush, but those were the main three that I always grabbed. Now, another blush that I absolutely love is from L'Oreal. It's their Paradise Enchanted blush. If you guys don't know, I absolutely am obsessed with this blush. It's so gorgeous. It's like a golden peach. It pretty much was like a huge peach collection that they did. Yeah, it's amazing. It's such a beautiful color. And this is in the shade Bashful. Yeah, this is 190 Bashful. Such a beautiful color. It has that beautiful golden glow in it. It makes the skin looks so nice and pretty and I just love it so much. This was like a huge grab for me towards the end of the year, especially now. I like, I'm obsessed with this. I took it to Vegas and I just literally pounded it on every day. Whether I was just like wearing foundation and mascara or if I was doing a full look like this was my main blush, my main bitch. And it's still right now my main bitch. So a huge favorite of mine that unfortunately broke, but I still do use it was the MAC Hyper Real Glow. I really remember grabbing this so much, but when my favorite shade broke, which was, oh, it doesn't say on the back. The Hyper Real Glow was amazing. Oh, it's like dripping everywhere. But this fa this shade was my favorite. This was just such a beautiful shade. So sad that it broke, but I remember this being a huge grab for me in the past year. I keep saying huge grab. I hope you guys aren't getting annoyed by that, but I really did like take this a ton and you know put it all over my face. So I feel like I used it a ton and it was just so smooth and buttery and very pretty, very wet looking, which I love wet looking highlighters. Also for highlighters, I use the KKW Beauty one a lot. I used Highlight one a ton, but as I got tanner, I kind of mixed and matched a whole bunch. Besides that one, I loved the Fenty Beauty Mean Money Hustle Baby highlighter or Kilowatt highlighter. Amazing. I, I'm so obsessed with Hustle Baby. It's such a beautiful pink gold. It's got, yeah, it's got like a little bit of a pink in it. More gold definitely, but it does have that pink tinge in it. That is just makes it so beautiful on the skin. It's so smooth, it's so buttery. Again, it's like a little wet looking, which I always loved. Honestly, she knows what she's doing. She really knows what she's doing in these, in the kilowatts and the foundations and all that jazz. So my drawers are breaking at the moment because I'm still not completely organized down there. So another one of my favorites, I'm holding, 
a contra palette but another one of my favorites uh that i always go back to no matter what is the becca opal shimmering skin perfector is also a gorgeous wet looking natural looking highlighter i absolutely love how beautiful this looks on the skin i mean it's just so so stunning and it's always like a really easy grab for me because i just feel like i know it's gonna work and it's just like if i don't feel like doing anything else i usually do that champagne pop too becca's highlights are always my favorite um champagne pop is also another huge you could sell you could tell how much i use this was another huge favorite but again becca's highlights like honestly they're like in my top five in highlights maybe maybe my top two because her highlights are just so so creamy so buttery so nice and really just beautiful on the skin so yeah these two i really really love but again who knows who knows what's gonna happen i feel like i just try so many things that my favorites like shift all over the place but i feel like i always love to go back and remember why i love certain products too so They'll always be a favorite of mine, though. My favorite, favorite lip liners are from Kylie Cosmetics. They're just so creamy, so smooth, so easy to blend. I have, like, a whole bunch of colors of them. My favorite ones are the Coconut Ice Latte. I love Candy K. I love Ginger. I love Dolce K. I loved when she, like, when we first started and she did the case. thought that was cute. Yeah, like, all of her liners just go on so smoothly. I love that I could wear them by itself. I love that I could wear it with whatever other lipstick. Um, they're just so, so nice. And they reminded me of, I remember MAC had, or they still have the Pro Longwear, but like it was, I feel like after a while the Pro Longwear would get really, really hard to sharpen. I'm not sure if they changed their um, formula or anything, but I just remember that. And I, I just like the way that these sharpen. Sometimes they do get a little loose and they'll like kind of shift back and forth, but it's really, it doesn't bother me. And she's bomb in the lip department. So those are my favorite lip liners. I feel like my favorite lipsticks, I really loved the KKW Beauty Nudes. Nude 1, I used a ton, and I also used Nude 2 a lot. I do, I do have Nude 2 somewhere, but um, Nude 1 and Nude 3, I used a ton, and I always like mix them. I really, really love these. They don't smell the best. Like, they smell like, you know, makeup, but they smell like that, like, plasticky kind of makeup smell. But... I always really, really love them. They always look really, really creamy on the lips, and they're just so pretty, and and they go with everything, and they're just easy. I feel like it's just an easy grab, and they're just really, really perfect neutrals, I feel like. They're just really, really nice, really, really easy, and I know that she's come, she came out with like so much more than these, but I'm just so about neutrals, and I feel like if I have, you know, similar colors, I try not to go too crazy, but like neutrals is like a huge, I mean... What am I saying? Neutrals. I have like a ton of neutrals and I still buy neutrals so I can't really talk that much. Another one of my favorites this year that I use a ton was Dose of Colors Nude Chica. I'm really not sure if I used it in a tutorial. I think I might have but this is the Dose of Colors I Heart Sarahi collection. Yeah this was from I think her second one right? It's technically her second one right? But this color is just so so pretty. It's honestly the perfect pink nude. And it looks so good on my skin tone. I sound like I'm bragging, but I'm just being honest. It looks really great on my skin tone. I wear it, like, all the time. And it looks really great with a gloss, too, for, like, one color to be, like, my favorite. That's kind of big. And that's why I don't really have too many favorite lipsticks. I have a lot of, like, I use all of Kylie's liners and a whole bunch of different, you know, colors and everything. This was just a f super, super huge go-to for me. And I really, really love it. Actually, I'd probably wear it with the KKW Nude One. I use that a lot. I use the coconut liner with the Dose of Colors one a lot by Kylie Cosmetics. And I feel like there is one more that I gotta go get. My last major lip favorite was the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I mean, guys, this lip gloss, honestly, is amazing. It goes well with your normal lips your lip color, whatever you have on, it just adds like that shazam that you need for your lips. Honestly, it's just so pretty. I'll put it on right now just because my lip is kind of dry. My lip is getting dry from like talking, I feel like. It's just so pretty. I feel like over anything, it's so gorgeous. so pretty and it just has the most 
smooth buttery consistency it's not sticky it's literally like it you know when you're gonna when you flip your hair around you're gonna get your gloss stuck in it but it's nothing where i'm like oh it's so sticky or anything like that so i really really do love this so happy that i got it because i was like not sure because i'm not a huge gloss person but this i feel like i've fell in love with gloss a lot more ever since this gloss and i know that she has the new one that's like has like silver and whitish kind of it has like a silver blue kind of consistency or color. My friend got it and he loves it and I just feel like I probably have to get it because it's just, this formula is just so amazing. So I feel like I probably have to get it, but I don't know. I probably will, who knows. Anyways, so last but not least, my setting sprays. And honestly, I just have two. My favorite setting sprays have been Max Rose Fix Plus and the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist Spray. So you guys know I've been obsessed with this forever. Honestly, like this is my holy grail setting spray and I always, always grab this, especially if I need some extra hydration or just a super, super amazing glow. This mist just gives the skin such a beautiful, beautiful glow and I just love Tatcha and all of their products and they're just amazing. Honestly, it's worth the money. I know it's a little expensive. If you have dry skin and you wanna still be glowing, please, just do it, just do it, okay? I know you're probably going into some more and being like, oh, it's so expensive though, but it's so expensive. But it's like, I feel like I remember when I first saw it, I was like, damn, it's so expensive though. But I've heard so many good things. I remember Jaclyn Hill was like obsessed with it. And I was like, oh, but I have to try it because I feel like people don't rave so much about a product unless they're like, I guess, being hardly, hardly hardcore paid and they're just like that. But I'm not. And um, I, when I really, really love something, I will tell you. And I really, really love this stuff. And I've loved it for years, and it's just, it can't escape away from me. And I just love that they put my little name on there. I mean, come on, that was so cute of them. But anyways, besides the Tatcha Dewey Mist Spray, I really, really love the Rose Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray by MAC. I was a fan of the Fix Plus Spray for a while. I kind of fell off and started using Dewey Mist Spray, but this is a, another amazing option. I mean, honestly... I love the smell of the rose and it's just very hydrating, it wakes you up, it just makes you feel good. The smell, it kind of like just like makes your senses rise a little bit, kind of just like wakes you up. It also makes the skin look really, really pretty and I always feel very refreshed when I have this on. But that's it you guys, that is all of my favorites of 2018. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'm sorry that it took a little bit to get here, like with the video. I know that I've been trying to get this out for a couple weeks, but me being stuck in Vegas really, really delayed things. Yeah, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. I would love to do more talky videos like this. Um, I'm trying to do them with my tutorials and stuff, but you know, it's hard when I have like a huge, you know, family that's just running around over there. So yeah, if you really enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and yeah, share it. Send me love down below. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your suggestions. I want to know what you guys want to see next. I feel like a rapper right now because I'm like yelling in your face. But um, yeah, just let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm always wondering what you guys really want to see. And yeah, I'll take a look and who knows, who knows, who knows what I have up on my sleeve. Be on the lookout for this look and also be on the lookout for some Valentine's videos. I'm definitely gonna at least have one or two looks for you guys for Valentine's Day. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your favorites of 2018. What What is something that I need to try that you really feel that I really hardcore need to try? I would love to know that. And yeah, that's it you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video again and thanks for watching and I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.